Since that's a glob gobbler, I'd say we're going to get gobbled. Ah! Help! <clears throat> what a tragedy! Yeah, how could someone so rotten come to such an end? boy, I just to you. Boss, you're okay! Yes, good thing I wore my old sock and onion cologne, eh? <laughs> it works every time. Let's go! Oh, here it is. The Temple of the Cork. The dreaded bedbugs have been imprisoned here for 1,000 years. That is, until now. <laughs> oh, I've got to be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Irving! Hello. Would you do me a teeny tiny favor and open that door? Look, oh, uh, gee, boss, I... Do it! Look, oh, right away, boss. Go ahead, open it! Oh, I was right. It was booby trap. Now, let's get this over with. Ah, the place where the dozer imprisoned the bedbugs a thousand years ago. Uh, just think, all those bedbugs trapped for all those years. Yeah, they must be hungry. What do they eat? Everything! Now, open the cork and let them out. It's dinner time. Hey, come on, guys! We're free! Let's party! Gee, these bed bugs are ugly, smelly, and disgusting. Yeah, just like you, boss. Keep it up. And you two might get a raise. <laughs> I'll have a par D of my own when those hungry bed bugs eat the dream zone. <laughs> Phew, it's finally time for bed. I can't wait to fall asleep. Yeah, they're having a midnight patrol day in the dream zone. It'll be the best. All right, who put something in my sleeping bag? Nicholas, come get this disgusting ball of stuffing. Sorry, Rosie. I was wondering what happened to you. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night to you too, Posworth. See you in the dream zone. Oh, dear. It's almost time for the Midnight Patrol to arrive. I hope his tiredness approves of the decorations for Midnight Patrol Day. Ah, <sighs> good. He must like them. Wow, this is great. Yes, they've certainly outdone themselves this time. Welcome to the first annual Midnight Patrol Day. Let the festivities begin. There you are. I hereby proclaim this to be Midnight Patrol Day because you... Uh, what his slumberness meant to say is that you've helped make everyone's dreams better. Gee, this is a real honor. <laughs> I wish all my dreams taste this good. I finally got my own day and nothing's going to ruin it. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so I was wrong. Oh, my. Oh, dear. What happened? Why don't you ask that thing? Step aside, Ted. <laughs> it's a bed bug. They're back. A two-foot-tall bug? Yuck. Don't worry, gang. There's only one of them. That was absolutely disgusting. That's for sure. Can I open my eyes now? Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't eat this trophy, too. Trophy? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Nicholas. Sorry, Rosie. I think we ought to wake the dozer. Oh, 
I think the dozer will be awake soon enough. Why do you say that, Sebastian? Let's just call it a hunch. <laughs> Oh, darn those bed bugs. They must have escaped from. His yawniness was saying that the bed bugs have escaped from the temple of the cork. The temple of the cork? Well, where else would you put a rampaging bed bug? He's got a point. Oh, dear. We've got to stop those pests before they eat the entire dream zone. So much for midnight patrol day. Hey, we can handle those pesky bed bugs, and then we'll have a party. Let's roll, Midnight Patrol. She makes everything sound so easy. Mm, what's next? Not me. Me either. We've got to bag that bug, Nick. Don't worry, Keiko. Murphy and I can handle this. <laughs> Maybe you better try. Ah! Go to the last splinter! All right, Miss Bedbug. Stop in the name of the Midnight Patrol! Oh, goody, goody, goody! Ah! Hey! <laughs> yum, 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 yum! Sorry about your skateboard, Keiko. Don't worry, Nick. Getting a new skateboard here in the Dream Zone is easy. But getting rid of those bed bugs isn't. What trouble! What chaos! What destruction! These bugs are my kind of people. A moment of your time, your decrepitness. Buzz off, you pest! <laughs> oh, this is just starting to get good. <laughs> Mmm, corny! Yeah, just the way I like it. Anytime you two are ready. Right, Potsworth. What do you know? It's raining food! Yeah, let's eat! Party, party, party! Well, that worked great. Oh, absolutely. Ridding the dreams out of these bed bugs is almost as difficult as training a human. Yes, all right. Way to go, bed bugs. Oh, what is it now? Uh, excuse me, Mac. What do you got for dessert? <gasps> my monitors. What have you done to my lovely monitors? Food's food, pal. See you around the castle while well, you still have one left. <laughs> hey, you weren't supposed to eat my things. Come back here. Oh, no. Party, 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 party. Not my garbage collection. Please, show some mercy. Oh, hello. Sorry. Mom, I can't talk now. Mm. Sorry, Mom, but it looks like you're going to be put on hold. Hey, what am I supposed to do? We were cut off. Oh, no, not my throne. Is nothing sacred? Igor Irving! Yes, yes your, your wretchedness. Follow that bug! Aye, aye, boss. It may not look like it, but that hurt. Stop in the name of the Midnight Patrol! Come back here, you little throne thieves! Everybody, it's the Nightmare Prince! I'll bet he's the one who let all these bed bugs loose. What? How dare you accuse me of doing something that stupid? Oh, by the way, thanks 
short corking us, Princey. Blabber bug. It looks like they're bugging the prince, too. In a major way. Oh, I hate these things. That's nice to know, but how are we going to get rid of all these bad bugs? Much as I hate to suggest it, we may need the prince's help. That's a great idea. That way, maybe together we'd be able to round up all those bed bugs. What? Work with you? Forget it! Impossible! Out of the question, little girl. When do we start? Ew, do we really have to work with some of that slimy? Oh, calm down, Rosie. Yeah, it looks like we'll need all the help we can get. Oh, all right. As long as I don't have to touch him or anything. <sighs> the dozer has some news about the bed bugs. <sighs> it's so important that it almost woke him up. Well, that is important. What is it, Sebastian? Well, he wanted to tell you how we defeated the bed bugs a thousand years ago. We used the music of the fabled vile lumpet to lure them back to the temple. That solves our problem. Where's the vile lumpet? Uh, alas, it was lost long ago. That's all right. All you have to do is find another one. Really, Nick? Where would we ever find another vile lumpet? Gee, you scumminess. Don't you have one of those vile lumpet deals back at the castle? <gasps> Who? Uh, me? Oh, don't be absurd. What, you must be thinking of my, uh, my trombonolin. Trombonolin? Well, yes. Many people get them confused, but they're actually very different. Don't ever tell anyone I play the violumpet again. Understand? Uh, how, how come, boss? Because I hate it. I hate playing it, and I hate listening to it. I only play it because my mom makes me. <gasps> oh, dear me! Look! That bed bug is running away with the dozer! <gasps> Where? No one's running away with the dozer! Made you look! Hello? Look, I won't be there for my vile lumpet lesson. I've got... <laughs> you know, it's days like this that make me wish I had another job. It won't work, I tell you. It won't work. Give it a rest, Prince. You must have told us that about a thousand times. One thousand and forty-five irritating times, to be exact. Yes, well, if you'd listen to me, you'd save a lot of trouble. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Hit it, Princey! And hurry! Oh, all right. See, I told you it wouldn't work. Yeah! We don't feel a... <laughs> oh, how can music this bad make anyone fall asleep? Don't ask me. Come on, Princey. We're taking your act on the road. Oh, I can hardly wait. What are you folks doing out here? Yeah, you're missing out the fun. There's a party going on in the auditorium. Party! 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 Come on! Can I stop? My arms are getting tired. Aw, oh, you're doing a great job, Princey. Isn't teamwork fun? Is she always like this? Yeah, but you get used to it after a while. Way to go, Princey. We make a great team. We make a great team. Is it me, or is this kid a real pain? This is the station, KBUW. 
G, K Bug on the air. So listen up, all you hungry bear bugs out there. Ready, you sink your teeth into this. It's a hip hop happening tune rock to you by the baddest dude in the dream zone, the Nightmare Prince. It's working. <laughs> Congratulations, Prince. It looks like you got a hit. Ew, you stink. Ah, that's better. I beg your pardon. I just took a bath last year. This guy is so gross. Great going, gang. I knew we'd make a great team. Ugh, I think I'm going to be sick. Me too. That's it, gang. Move them out. Wow, you're such a team player, Princey. Oh, put a sock in it, kid. Tougher than it looks. Ugh, what a day. My castle was eaten. I had to play this stupid violin lumpet, and worst of all, I had to team up with the good guys. Yuck. You did good, Princey. You should be proud of yourself. Doesn't she ever give up? Not that I know of. Wait a minute. If I can get that stone to fall on them, then the day won't be a total washout after all. Oh, dearie me! I forgot to close the door! We'll do it! Nonsense! Allow me. What's his problem? I'm not sure, but I don't trust anyone who hates my guts. Oh, ease up, you two. Princey's not so bad. He did help save the Dream Zone, you know. This is going to be great. I can hardly wait. So long, suckers! <laughs> Oh, I'll bet that hurt. Where are you going? I don't want to talk about it, kid. Congratulations! The Midnight Patrol has saved the Dream Zone again. Thanks, Sebastian. But don't you think that the Nightmare Prince deserves some credit? No! no. Just asking. Well, if you ask me, tonight has been a real pain. How come, Carter? Look at this place. Those bear bugs ruined the Midnight Patrol Day. Oh, not necessarily. <laughs> I hereby declare this to be Midnight Patrol Week. All right. That's great. In the words of our friends, the bed bugs, party, party, party. Now you're talking, Potswain. There are two new programmes on Children's BBC tomorrow afternoon. They are Get Your Own Back and also Star Pets. We'll tell you more about those later. And let me tell you that there's Cartoon Adventure on Friday afternoon at ten past four with the chipmunks going to the movies. Where's a range and meticulous plans to make sure nothing goes wrong? <laughs> you know, Hugo, it will be all right this time. Nothing can go wrong. Yes, Mr. That's what I think, anyway. Hey, 
small battered cod that he maintained was his cousin he had last seen in a boarding house in the Balls Pond Road. And finally, the public is warned to be on the lookout for a small van driven by two French... Look out! No, 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 left! I said left! Oh, Benny! Go, oh, Benny! Where's me tablet? Where's me tablet? But, Victor, I was doing the left! You were not doing the... Hand out your holes. You mean perhaps hold out my hands? That is what I said. Hold out your hands. There you are, look, two handies. Good. Now, which is your left hand? Hmm? Good morning, can I... Yes, I know, it is this one. <gasps> my shop. What have you done to my shop? Ah. <laughs> my apologies, a, a little misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? You drive your van into my shop and you call that a, a misunderstanding? <laughs> my brother, he cannot be tell his left hand from... <laughs> Excuse him, what, the phone. But... But... Uh, Victor and Hugo are not in us international. No crime too big, no crime too small. How can I help you? My shop! Who's going to pay for all the damage? Uh, please, I am trying to speak on the telephone. What? Uh, Ah! Police! Police! Arrest these men! Victor? Mm, yes, monsieur. Ma Victor! <laughs> yes. You will please leave my tie alone. Uh, no, 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 monsieur. Victor, I know you are doing man, nothing to my tie. That man, I think he's been very cross, you know. And that man had gone out. And uh, very good, come monsieur. Back. Consider and it as good. You know as who it is Au revoir, that it monsieur. is that he had Goodbye. come back with? Hugo, please, when I am talk on the telephone, I do not wish to be. To be. Good morning. Hugo. Yes, my Victor. Drive! Don't you just stand there, you idiots? Get after them! So, now you are understand, yes? Yes, my Victor. Because I'm understand. I'm not stupid, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the Emperor of China. Oh, you are? I did not know that in the pool. Victor, in the pool, he's here now, he's the Emperor of China. Hmm. The plan, Hugo, are you understand the plan? Yes. Good. And uh, no, but it is, you know, mainly no. Hugo, why you are not listening to anything I am saying? We have been hired by a professor, why? Who? Why? I don't know, why? Hugo, I will keep my temper if you will listen. Yes? So listen! <sighs> We have been hired by Professor Y. We are to go to St. Spooner's Hospital, where we are to find Dr. Peverell O.V. Peake's laboratory. Dr. Peake, he have discovered a special quick growth formula. Professor Y, he wants that formula. He will give the formula to his team of highly trained killer ants. The ants, they will grow most big, and Professor Y will take over the world. Yes, Victor. Now you understand, yes? Yes, got it in one. We peek at the spoon in the hospital and grow quickly a professor's formula that will take the ants to the train. Yeah, is that it? Not quite. Still, you do not need to know all that. Do what? Now, all you need to know is that you must pretend to be very ill so that we can get into the hospital. And, aha, here we are that we are. You patients, are you? I tell you, pal, living with a couple of nutcases like this, I need to be very, very patient, I can tell you. Interpol, be quiet. Yes, my brother, he is... Yeah, and that parrot is the Emperor of China, you know. You what? Yes, I did not know until this morning, but he does. He says, I am the Emperor of China, he says. Is he not, my Victor? Hugo, please. My brother, he is not feeling very well. Are you, Hugo? No, Victor, no, no, thank you, I'm very well. Hugo, do you want to ruin everything? You mean I should not be telling this man that Interpol, he is the Emperor of China? No, I mean... Chop suey chow mein and free fried rice! Interpol! Yes, he speaks Chinese. You're right, mate, he is ill. You'd better get him down to a ward sharpish like. No, 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 you do not... Un what? Straight down there, left, left again, and there's the main entrance. You can't miss it. Yes, I... I... I thank you. C come, Hugo. All three of them want looking at if you ask me. Don't <laughs> 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 you! What? Sort of an idiot! Oh. Who? Me? No, 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 no. Not you. Yeah, he could have fooled me. I meant that mad driver of the ambulance. Ah, oh, yes. You mean the van that goes... Beep, 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 beep,
Inspector, Please. that is enough. We do not wish to hear your impressions now. Thank you so much. We have work to do, remember? No. Nah. No, of course you do not. That is because you have the brain of a Brussels sprout. Now back up the van and park it properly. Yeah, okay, Victor. To me. Left hand down. If... Ah! 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 Me! That looks like fun. Ah! Ooh, yeah, maybe Victor here will let me have a gun. Help! 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 How do you stop this? in the theatre on opposite side of a play record me like what I said and do you know what he said? What did he say? He looked me right in the eyes and he said Benway cauterisation unit please nurse. Oh. He never did. Mm -hmm. Peter, no, mm -hmm. can I have a go now in the old racing chair? Mm -hmm. Here we have a case of simple concussion. Feeling a little better now, are we? Huh, you can speak for yourself, but as far as I am concerned... Yes, yes, that's right. You've had quite a nasty accident. It's lucky your colleague was able to get into hospital so quickly. What are you talking about? I was in the hospital when it happened. No thanks to you, you bledhock. Yeah, he means blockhead. That is what I say. Yes, yes, quite. Now, this shuttle reaction is quite a common in cases of this type, but it's probably best not to pay any attention to what the patient might say in his present state. Right, onwards and ever upwards, a class we shall continue with the round. Bye-bye then, Mr. Doctor. <clears throat> yes, quite. Right, Hugo. Now is our chance. We must find the laboratory of the Dr. Peak and steal his secret quick growth formula. And I have the most brilliant idea. <laughs> yes. So you would uh, perhaps like to hear what it is that is my brilliant plan. <laughs> yes, OK, all right, Victor. Now, in a hospital, who is it that nobody pay any attention to? Oh dear, dear. I don't know. I think, I think I'm getting confused, Victor. I mean, oh. when you are in a hospital, where it is that you wish to avoid suspicion, what is being the best disguise? Uh, the bestest one would probably be a chicken. A chicken? Yeah. Voila. <laughs> Hugo, stop that at once. You think that you will avoid the suspicion dressed as a chicken? Yes. No, 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 and again, no. To avoid the suspicion in the hospital, the best disguise is a doctor. Ah, oh, see, and where do we find one then? Who? This doctor in disguise. Idiot, it is us. We are the doctor? Yes. We shall disguise ourselves oh. as the doctors to... Oh! 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 Hugo? <laughs> Hugo, what is the matter now? It's just that... Mama, she will be so pleased. What? Mama, she always wanted for me to be a doctor. Hugo. And now... And I am... I'm the doctor. Thank you, thank you, Victor. I don't know how you made me a yell, Mama. You go. Get up and put me down, you go. Ah, ah, ah. In this store room, I think that it is that in here we will find our disguises. Come along, Hugo. <laughs> it is all running to plan. What is this? <laughs> oh, stop mumbling, Hugo. I cannot understand what it is that you are saying. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, do you know nothing? That is a stethoscope, you fool. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to him, Doctor, that appendectomy was what can only be described as a work of art. Oh, you never! I did. And then, <laughs> oh, what's where you're going? Oh, I, I am so sorry. <laughs> I was just, uh, I mean, um, I, I was... Just, uh, how do you do? Yes, who are you? Uh, me? Uh, me? I, I am a doctor. Yes, I can see that. Uh, you can? I, I mean, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> it's no use. Victor can see nothing. Uh oh. Oh, there you are, Victor. Look, this telescope. Silly, she's not working. I can see nothing through it. <laughs> My brother, I mean, uh, colleague. Put it away, you fool. You want to ruin everything? Oh, wait a minute. Perhaps I'm looking through the wrong end, yes? Go and hold on. I'll try the other end. Hugo, very soon I shall be put the other end up your nose. 
<laughs> Please, you must excuse Dr. Hugo. He is recovering from a very strenuous operation. Oh, so your surgeons are here? Surgeons? Oh, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, that is what we are. No, you just said that with doctors. <laughs> a very, um, very strenuous operation. Just a minute. I've not seen your Auntie Spooners before. Are you sure you're doctors? Well, but of course. Uh, we are the, um, uh, visiting doctors. We are standing in for two other doctors who are, um, they are not here because, um, they, they are, are gone on holiday. They are very ill. Uh, very ill. They are gone on holiday where they are very ill. Are you sure? Well, of course I am sure. Do you doubt the word of a doctor? Now, if you will excuse us, uh, Dr. Hugo and I, we have another most um, strenuous operation to perform. Just a minute. Yes? Your present is that way. It is? I mean, uh, it is, yes. <laughs> of course. It is that way, you fool. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not that stupid. Good. What's that way? Your present theatre. We'll take you there, won't we, Sand? Oh, yes. Come along. But, but, I assure you we can find our own way. Oh, it's no trouble, is it, Sand? No trouble. We were going that way anyway. I, um, I see. Come along, Dr. Hugo. Here we are. This is the scrubbing room. You need to scrub up before your patient arrives. What patient? Uh, the patient on whom we are to perform the operation, of course. You're going to perform an... an operation? But of course. Is it not that is why we are here? No. We're here to steal the... <coughs> <coughs> I am a little horse. Oh, yeah. I thought you said you was a little doctor. Yes, that is correct. No, you say you're the horse. In that case, I can be the chicken. Ha-ha! <laughs> Don't strangle the chicken, please. Do you want to ruin everything? No, I just want to be the chicken. You will not be the chicken. You will be the doctor unless you want to be the patient, and I will operate on you. Why? What is it that's wrong with me? Nothing, but so there will be if I operate on you. Oh, I see. Good. Ah, the sink. I shall be wash my hands. Yes, that's a good idea. We do not want onto the patient to be getting the old Germans. The old Germans? Yes, Victor, Germans, you know, nice little things that make you go, I'd you, I'd you cough, <coughs> and all that. Hugo, the equipment, please. <laughs> 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 Very uh, strong water you have in this hospital. Yes. No, I don't think they're doctors at all. I think they're imposters. <gasps> no. Yeah. Let's go and get someone from security. Well, it's been nice meeting you, Doctor. Have a nice operation. Ooh, it's all right, Hugo. They have gone. Yes. Do you think that they were suspecting anything? But of course not. I, um... <clears throat> Hugo? Yeah? What is that noise? <laughs> it's this. This, this, Victor, is this, the thing for the underwater doctor. The, <laughs> the underwater doctor? Yeah, <laughs> Victor, look. If <laughs> it is the doctor who wanted an operation under the water. <laughs> under the water, you can breathe with it. <laughs> Your brain of a banana. <laughs> That is not funny. The underwater doctor. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> that is the anesthetic. Again, you idiot. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you ruined everything! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho! So it's you two again, is it? And what's so blinking funny then, eh? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Into it in any way. <laughs> we are come to steal from the Dr. Everett O.B. Peak's <laughs> laboratory. His special <laughs> quick growth formula. <laughs> That's like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> that is so. <laughs> but we do not know where it is. His, his laboratory. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
That silly laughing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <clears throat> trouble for nothing. Yes. What do you mean, Victor? This secret formula. After all that, it does not work anyway. No. How you know that it does not work anyway? Because you spilled it all over yourself. You should by now be as big as the houses. <laughs> Me? Me as big as the houses? <laughs> you are making the joke, eh? I am making the joke, no. Oh, still... At least there is one small grain of comfort. Yeah? What is it that it is, Victor? Well, at least in here. Nothing else can possibly go wrong. <laughs> no! No, no! Come back with my other... Yeah. <laughs> 
syringe a meticulous plan To make sure nothing goes wrong You can be absolutely certain that when anybody in a cartoon ever says anything like, nothing worse can happen to us now, that the wall's about to fall on them, or that they're going to find themselves on level two in Nightmare, which just happens to be next. Slick link that, wasn't it? I'm going to turn the lights down because it's the best way to watch Nightmare. Pat Sharp, Yvette Fielding, Andy Crane, Batman the Animated Series, Bugs Bunny, and Tasmania. No joking, it can only be one thing. What's up, Doc? Wake up this Saturday morning, switch on to CITV at 25 past nine and find out what's up, Doc.